together. The owner is actually communicating through the arts. So every wood and arts here have a story to tell. And that is what we are exploring with the two right now. Like here in this space, you can see, these are all related to rice farmers because in the past, most of the Thai people are rice farmers. They plant, they harvest, and then they pray for the rain. You see here, burning rice ceremony. It is used by the king to grant a public audience a special occasion. The only sacrifice that you have to make is one of you must come down here and take photo from up there. Okay, just a little sacrifice. Have you been to Cambodia? No, yes, Not yet. So don't worry because only here in Sanctuary of Truth you are able to see a glimpse of Cambodia. Let me show it to you this way. Please use your umbrella. symbols of four golden state of minds. Like they said, one face is love and kindness, the other face is compassionate, the other face is sympathetic joy, and the other face is equanimity. Below that four face, as you can see, that is Indra riding era one. The three-headed elephants are display, and that represents the key characters of a good leadership, like avoidance of thinking, saying, and doing negative things to others. It's a good reminder to every one of us, because at this point of time, not about religion, it's about people's reflection. Who we are, where we come from, whatever religion that we believe in, this hall here was built to show the concept of human equality. We are all the same human being, and we are all compounded here with these four classical elements. To Hindu, it's five, like the space or the sky, but like the owner said, the space is everywhere around us, yet it's so important. The earth here is the most solid compared to the other elements. You can see the forest, the animal, in our body could be our teeth, our bones, like the physical state of being balanced. The water is known as liquid. You can see the waves, the undersea plants, the undersea animals like the fish. In our body is our tears, our sweat, our blood, all the liquids in our body. The weird element right here represents the bread of life. So you can see from the moving of the cloth, the leaves, in our body is the gas that produces oxygen for us to breathe. And the last one, the fire element, represented by the dragon, the fire, the volcano, in our body is our temperature, metabolism, energy, and emotions. All of these four elements here, including the space or the sky, they make us all equally the same and balanced. So if every one of us understand the first rule of life here, it helps us all to realize that we all deserve the same treatment and respect. Can I help that from all of you during the tour? Yes. yes. You can come back here again and take photos. No one will stop you then. But in the meantime, let's continue on exploring the second part, which is the second source of life. You're going to like it there. It's also beautiful. Let's move on to the second part now. This is where everyone. Okay, let's move on to the second part so that we can finish having a You were born Saturday. You were born Saturday. <laughs> okay. This is the great pavilion, the center hall. We call this the third tour of life. And here is where the relics of the Buddha is placed. Some parts of the bones, like teeth and nails, are inside. So this is the reason why we have to cover some of you, just to pay respect for the relics of the Buddha. And here it represents the concept of we are born to die. 
No one can really escape from there. Our tomorrows are never guaranteed nor promised. Whether we like it or not, every one of us must face that someday. But I just hope not us yet, so that we can still have the chance to do good things in this world. Am I right? Yes. Our world deserves a second chance, and I think we deserve one too, so it's never too late for every one of us. If you look inside the throne, you can see there's nothing there. Well, here it's fully decorated. That reminds us about the emptiness of life. We come from this world naked, out of nothing. We die, we take nothing. And the only thing that is remained in this world are our good or bad actions. We can either create good or bad, it all depends on all of us. If every one of us understand the truths here, it helps us all to realize about life consciousness, reducing our passion because the owner said, passion can lead us all to greediness and materialism if we overdo it and find our own happiness together. It's the same thing with the relics of the Buddha here. It only reflects the truth of human life that like us, he also did not escape from death. But he left his legacy for the Buddhist people to see and know, like his philosophy of life and his teachings for them to follow. Just like him, we can do the same thing. Do you believe that? Navigate our life the best way we can and make it count. And how we treat people, that's the only legacy we can leave behind in this world. After the tour, if you want to go up there and take a look, you can actually do that. Who among you here was born Saturday? 